In this video, I will demonstrate the steps for problems involving Newton's second law. Consider a block pushed along a level surface and we want to figure out its acceleration. The first step is always to carefully read the problem. It is to your benefit to underline, highlight, or color code all the relevant quantities and clues. Because this involves Newton's second law, any clues about the mass, the acceleration, or the magnitude and direction of forces are relevant. Force is a vector, hence you need a vector diagram. For forces, this is a free body diagram. Use the wording of the problem to draw in the forces with approximately relative magnitudes as well as their directions. On the side, it is useful to draw in the acceleration vector. You need to set up a coordinate system. To make your calculations easier, it is best so to set up your coordinate system along the acceleration vector. Check if any of the forces are not along the coordinate axis. In this simple case, they all are, so we do not need to calculate component vectors. Vector components will be covered in another video. Set up Newton's second law in each coordinate separately. Indicate the direction along that coordinate with plus or minus sign for both the acceleration and the forces along that coordinate. In this example, the acceleration in the y coordinate is zero. The normal force is in the positive direction. The weight, also known as the force of gravity, is in the negative direction. Solving this equation, we get that in this case, the magnitude of the normal force is equal to the magnitude of the weight. In the x direction, we have an acceleration in the positive direction and we have an applied force.
our unknown is the acceleration. We can algebraically solve for it. We plug in with units and get our answer. The final step is always to reread the problem and check that we have answered the question using all the relevant variables. In the second example, we have a mass gently lowered by a string at constant speed. We want to figure out what is the tension in the string. Start by reading the problem. In this case, some of the relevant quantities are declared implicitly. For example, the presence of a string usually implies a tensional force acting on the object. Constant speed means there is no change in the magnitude of the velocity. However, please also check there is also no change in the direction. Remember, a change in either the direction or the magnitude of velocity implies an acceleration. We draw the free body diagram with the relevant magnitude and direction of the forces. We also take note that the acceleration, in this case, is zero. We set up our coordinate system. Because we don't have acceleration, our second best choice is to have the coordinate system in the direction of our velocity. Do not be afraid to rotate the coordinate system downwards in the direction of the velocity vector. We apply Newton's second law with an acceleration of zero. Note that in this case, weight is in the positive y direction as we set it up, and tension is in the negative y direction. We solve for the unknown. When acceleration is zero, the magnitude of the tensional force will equal the magnitude of the weight. We plug in with units and get our answer. Please be aware of the conversion of units from kilograms 
meters per second squared to newtons. Finish up by rereading the problem checking that you have answered the question with all the relevant quantities. Also keep in mind to always look at the picture, the free body diagram, and the coordinate system throughout all available steps.